Howdy doody, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently Thursday, September 6, 2012, and this is Day 9 Daily number 490... Oh, crap. Three? Four? Four! Four! 494, where we learn to be a better gamer and remember what show we're doing. Yes! In very exciting news, the Heart of the Swarm beta is out. Yeah! But in Wings of Liberty news, the Team Liquid Star League will be occurring this Saturday, where we'll get the third, fourth place match. And of course, get the first, second plate smash. That's right, the grand finals of the Team Liquid Star League will be this Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. I'm suddenly unsure of all the facts for this show. Yeah, it should be in about... should be in a, in a while. Yeah, so on Saturday. We'll be watching the Team Liquid Star League. Myself and DJ Wheat will be casting. You should totally tune in. It's going to be Creator Prime versus Life. Uh, PVZ Finals, and I'm particularly pumped because I really do like Creator Prime. Anything else noteworthy going on? I don't think so. I'm very excited because I got the chance to play a little TF2 today. I played a lot of Heart of the Swarm, then I was like, no, you know, I shouldn't play another game because I'm about to go do the daily. But in that 30 minute time period, I played the Scout. And I don't know if you've ever played TF2 and played the Scout. Oh my god, I was horrible at that because um I I I'm too too lazy to like find the right in-game sensitivity cuz like normally if I, I don't know about you but I certainly did the Cal leagues when I was younger and playing Counter-Strike 1.5. Everyone did, right? And that's when everyone was like super low mouse sensitivity where you had to like turn by doing this on the mouse pad or back like that. Um and that's kind of like my comfort zone, but I have like my high StarCraft 2 sensitivity, so I was like, whatever. As a result, didn't play the Scout, because I can't aim for shit. I play with a heavy, just like shoot everywhere, apparently making Chewbacca noises. But today, I killed four people with the Scout. Now, I actually want you to know that this, this excitement and elation within me is genuine, because this was my previous record with the Scout. Mmm. Probably after the daily, after I play a little bit more StarCraft 2, I will be doing some more TF2-ing. Ah, oh, so good. So, what we're going to be doing right now is I'm going to be playing Heart of the Swarm and doing some mech builds. Yes, because of the fact that the Warhound and the Spider Mine, I don't care what it's supposed to be called, I'm pretty sure it's the Widow Mine, but I call them Spider Mines because that's what they're going to be called from here on out. I'm excited to see how Mech ends up playing out. I've been playing with the Warhound earlier today and discovered that it's essentially broken as shit. Hope we get paired against some Protosses so we get the chance to see its devastating potential. Um, yeah, so we're going to be trying to do some variety in there and I'm going to try to actually construct some game plans in my head before we continue. Have not done much playing around with the Spider Mine. Hopefully in part three we'll get the chance to play a game and do a little testing against that. Ha ha, yes! Uh, and of course, one of the big reasons that I am very excited is of course the fact that I have not really gotten to play any StarCraft at all for the last six weeks to two months. Hell, I don't even remember the last time I played a Wings of Liberty game, but now I get the opportunity to indulge. Oh, it feels so good. And of course, we got uh, got several an email about this uh, from yesterday. Given the fact that I haven't played for two months, I'm super unbelievably rusty, or more commonly referred to as awful. And the reason I'm excited to bring this up is it's good to suck. Oh, it feels so good after you've had a long period of time where you haven't played and you come back. Everything feels like shit. And I don't want you to stop playing. Because I know many of you struggle with that there. Ladder anxiety. What if I'm terrible? Just be terrible, man. I got publicly smashed by Sheth. I'm going to get publicly destroyed by Sheth right now. Or by, uh, um, potentially whoever I get paired against. Hopefully Liquid Chef doesn't pop up on the ladder and continues sniping me, the jerk. We're just gonna play through it because honestly, it doesn't take that long for Rust to get shaken off. And as many of you have experienced, I don't want you to have that tragedy of just completely stopping playing. <sighs> I've actually had this experience many a time with StarCraft 2, especially with casting where there's like two, three months where I can't play and then I can binge hard for a month or two and then off, and especially in Brood War when I was actually specifically playing competitively and I'd play hardcore for eight months and then stop for three and then play for more. That period when you come back always hurts the most. It's like when you don't work out for a long time and you step in and your muscles ache and they're creaky and you're like, I'm never gonna be in shape. Just play past it. 
it'll all be good. So as we're going into this game, the most important thing is that we're going to try to enjoy the new units. We are going to enjoy losing as best we can. And if we start losing, we're going to start hiding command centers because we're going to make them earn it. All right, let's go ahead and do this little fine matchy thing as we're going to get ready to uh, play the Terran race. I was playing Protoss yesterday. Today I'm going to be doing Terran and hopefully some Zerg later. And of course, as many people are saying, basically everything's broken according to the popular internet. <laughs> the Warhound's broken, the Recall's totally broken, the Swarm Host totally broken. We'll be exploring that first one with the, uh, the Warhound. Uh, what I'm probably going to be trying to do is something that involves good amount of Marines at the start of the game. Um, just to help me stay alive, and I'm just going to go straight for Warhound. Um, trying to think of how I'd want to follow that up. You don't really need that money, that much gas for the Warhound. It's pretty inexpensive, so I'm going to be theoretically gearing up for a faster third, and probably as I'm taking the third, I can switch to something defensive like tanks if I want to. Does that make sense to me? Mm, trying to think it through. I'll probably just transition to some big mech play, because why not? Oh, we have a player. Let's find out what race he is. This is going to help a lot. Oh, he's Protoss! All right. I already have a sense of build that I want to do. And if he's watching my stream, then... Well, then he's better than I am, so... Aw, <laughs> uh, yeah. I might actually turn on the star... Oh! Oh! Still there? Is the stream still there? Stream still there? Stream still there? Not enough. Let me just double check. Stream there? Stream there? Okay, good. Stream's there. Alright. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Alright, so, I know exactly what I want to be doing. If that glitches out, well, that's just what's gonna happen. And of course, let's go to this. Yeah. Yeah! I, you know, I, I realize I haven't ever listened to the StarCraft 2 music. And this has been driving me nuts. When I come back, I keep clicking a little bit above things instead of right on things. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm rusty or because I'm playing in 16x9. I stream in 16x9, but my monitor is actually 16x10. I keep overshooting things by just a teensy bit, and it's making me want to scream. Yeah, something Marines into Warhound into a fast third into just general mech. That seems that seems like a good statement of my plan. You know, I was saying tanks earlier. I don't actually know how much I like that. Ah, oh, you see that? You see how I keep overshooting? Again, I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm aware of it, and it's stinging my very soul. I'm going to try to talk. I'm generally pretty bad at this. What tends to happen to me is I start to just drift off. I start to say things like, Alright guys, we're gonna... We're gonna... And then I f completely forget what I was intending to say. God, I have like way too many coffee mugs over here. Right now, I'm mouse only in it. That's right, friend! I am doing this early expansion. Alright, drinking some more coffee. Time to mouse only it for a moment. Excellent. Nice triumphant soundtrack to help me out. Alright, so far so good. I like doing this little thing where you build the command center on 14, so that way you don't have to uh, build the extra supply depot. The only tragedy is that I'll have to scout afterwards. And he scouted pretty early, so I'm going to check the right first and then the left instead of the bottom. Let's go ahead and double thing it. And I'm actually going to be gassing quite, quite quickly. Ah. All right. All right, my Marine's telling me this better be good. I totally agree with him. Upgrade complete. Not 
So again, I'm going to scout uh, this position next, just because it feels... Go away... Do, 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 do. Let me actually do one of these things. Yeah! Alright. Alright, it's getting close to factory time, so let's do it. Mothership core! Alright. So far, so good. My build's looking good. Actually, I want to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do this. All right. I don't know if this leaves me really vulnerable to his gateway play, but could very well lose to a four gate. Uh, I feel like something's going at least mildly wrong with my timing, but that's okay. Oops, don't build two of them. Let's see. You know, I wanted to do my early third command center, and I have the money to, but I feel like that's because I sort of impromptu decided to throw down these bad boys. So this is, this is what I was talking about, that you don't really need that much money. Well, I guess I do have enough money to do it. Sometimes my money will get high if I'm doing this sort of thing for the first time, so I don't exactly trust it too much. Music is so triumphant. I love this. This is actually probably a lot louder than my voice, but that's okay. Uh, I always pause before I hit the return to game button all the way because a lot of times I just leave. Rally ho! Guys, I'm building them. I'll be lifting those two other things. I think I'm actually gonna win right here. Warhounds are amazing! Guys, it's the new 111, except you get to expand as well. Oh, he went for Entomb. <laughs> oh wait, they don't auto-attack. Alright, I have no idea. I don't have any clue if what I did was good or bad. I just did it. You see? Even you can get supply blocked frequently and get Grandmaster. Alright, listen. Alright, I think I might retire now. Something went wrong. For any of you who didn't see, I was in the Platinum Division. I played my five placement matches. I won them because most of my opponents were doing what I was doing. Wait, 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 don't attack me. Wait, let me see what the Oracle does. Got into Platinum and then straight into Grandmaster. Ugh! Let's literally try to do the exact same thing again and see how it pans out. Mm. 
This um. This is actually what I'm going to do. If you don't mind, I'm going to be taking a brief break at the end of part one, and then I'll be going into part two, because that way each game is its own individual thing. Um, and as a result, um, if we end up playing three games and it's like 750 or something like that, I'll just play a fourth one and we'll have a four-part daily. Sound fair? Um, let's go ahead and rewatch the replay, because uh, I want to see at the very least something felt like it went... Something seemed to go a little bit wrong because I've been doing this build before and I wasn't able to build that command center that early. I, I mean, it might just be because I'm not missing my depots or playing a little bit smoother. I'm going to assume... So this is kind of how I would go about doing the learning. So I said that uh, Marines into Warhound kind of take a fast third transition into mech. So... If we talk about adjustment, okay, so I like this double thing on 20. I'm not missing any Marines. I'm looking up here a good amount. I'm double SCVing. Did I really miss that set of SCVs? Well, a teensy bit. Marines are a little bit more consistent. So that might be where the excess of money was coming from, the fact that I missed SCVs here or there. And then I would say something like, after I start the second factory, instantly plan on reactoring. Like, I should probably have lifted this barracks over a bit already. So I can reactor now, reactor now. I'm doing a good job with that. Yeah, I guess while I'm doing this... So I was not actually looking at this timer as much, because I was trying to just make sure that I wasn't... I was trying to just plan ahead in this build that I've never I've never done double barracks reactor stuff and I've never really played much with a warhound so I wasn't looking too much at what he's doing because right now I'm trying to make sure that what I'm doing makes sense but if he th around 630 640 is when he could possibly be four gating so given this information I'm looking at what I have to be able to deal with a four gate or some early gateway pressure and given that Given that this is what I've seen, I should probably be building a barracks here. Or, uh, bunker here, excuse me. Actually, I see no reason not to build a much earlier bunker. That's actually where my money should have gone. But while this is building, I could have easily built this command center. And then I think while I build the command center, I should get one of my gas geysers. And then when it's finished, get the second one. Because, like I was saying earlier, you don't need gas for warhounds. They're free. So that's the adjustment I'll make. Bunker this earlier. That I could have gotten this maybe 30 seconds earlier in this super powerful broken-ass build. For any of you who don't know, the Warhound, relatively inexpensive, more life than a tank, better damage than a tank, better damage versus mechanical than anything. Good unit. Good unit. When we come back for part two. I'm going to try to do something a little similar, and we're going to pray... That we hit a long game. And then in part number three, I'm just going to go ape shit with the spider mines. Let's see how it pans out. Yeah. Here we go.